Hey there everyone, happy Sunday. We have had such a gorgeous weekend and it is the last weekend of summer. Don't worry, we do have some warmer air as we head into the upcoming week. So still a few more days of summer before we officially turn into fall this upcoming weekend. And I think you're really gonna like that eight day forecast. We do have one cool and I'd say a little bit dreary day to talk about before we get there though. So as you can see um, earlier today, we did have a few raindrops pass by, uh, looking a little bit uh, dreary in our time lapse in North Canton. But as you can see at Burke Lakefront time lapse, beautiful wall to wall blue sky. Did have a few nice uh, uh, popcorn clouds move in uh, throughout the day, a good deal of sunshine. So about everyone uh, got to see some quiet weather, some sun, and again, another day of some beautiful weather. We are going to have a cold front move in tonight, and that will bring at least one day of change for us. Started off this morning in the mid to upper 50s. This is reported out of the airport. We hit 57 this morning. Climbed into the low to mid 70s. 73 uh, was recorded this afternoon. So it's nice that we're getting closer and closer to those normal temperatures. Uh, no more cooler days, at least in the eight day beyond tomorrow. Rest of the night looking really nice. If you did have any outdoor plans the next few hours or if you're just getting settled into bed, temperatures will mainly be in the 60s, but we'll dip into the 50s a little later on. And that'll bring us the chance for a spotty shower or two. You can kind of see that cold front as it's nudging uh, a little bit closer to northwest Ohio, bringing a few showers and an isolated rumble of thunder to our friends in Toledo. And if I just zoom out a little bit, look at all the dreary weather all around us. So we've really had such a lucky day um, with the sunshine and the quiet conditions. Now we will have a spotty shower or two as we get past sunset tonight, and that's thanks to this area of low pressure and this cold front that will move on in. Not looking at a total washout, but again, just a spotty downpour or two is possible. Here's a look right around 11 o'clock tonight, and you can see there's a few of those showers around. Again, don't uh, be surprised if you wake up uh, and you don't uh, have any rain or it's quiet outside uh, your door because not everybody's expected to see a few of those showers. Taking you into Monday, few more clouds move in. Our winds will shift more out of the north, and for tomorrow, we'll have some of that cooler air brush along the lake. That will allow for a few lake-driven uh, isolated showers throughout the afternoon tomorrow. Again, mainly going to be our, uh, I'd say, lake effect communities that see any of those spotty showers. So folks in Geauga Lake, Ashabula, Cuyahoga County um, will see some rain tomorrow. The rest of us just kind of in and out of the clouds. Heading into Tuesday, looking at quieter conditions with a few clouds around, but you're really going to like as we get into the eight day forecast. Tonight, not going to be as chilly as the past few nights, so another comfortably cool one. We're talking uh, mid to upper 50s. Again, few clouds around, chance for a spotty shower uh, a little later in the night. Tomorrow, few light showers, again, closer to the lakeshore you are, better chance that you'll see some rain, but temperatures only going to make it into the upper 60s. Good mix of sun and clouds out there, um, so not everybody's going to have quite a dreary day. Hey, guess what tomorrow is? Browns versus Steelers. It is uh, over in Pittsburgh, so if you're making the journey throughout the day, you may run into a shower or two, or maybe if you're tailgating over there, uh, you may run into a few raindrops, but as we get closer to 8 o'clock, game time, it does look a little bit quieter, or maybe if you're having friends over uh, grilling out, uh, planning on watching outside, you may have a raindrop earlier in the day, but I'd say conditions look quieter as we get into the evening. AJ forecast is looking great. Once we get past tomorrow, the forecast is really looking super nice. 70s on Tuesday, mid 70s Wednesday, sunshine returns, high pressure brings us a very quiet forecast. We'll be in the upper 70s, chance to see 80 on Friday. Yep, we put an 80 in there, um, could be close. And then fall arrives on Saturday, so next weekend, and we'll cool off slightly. There are the chance for a few showers Sunday into Monday. Um, not all models are into agreement, so we didn't put a rain icon there yet, but we'll have a few clouds at least move in and, and we'll cool off slightly, but still looking great the next eight days. Just be prepared for a few raindrops heading into the day tomorrow. You can always find that latest forecast at fox8.com underneath the forecast discussion, and we'll be on at 10 o'clock tonight. You can uh, always join us there or online to find the latest forecast information. All right, have a great rest of your weekend.